EKU men's basketball was back at Alumni Coliseum last night, taking on the Gamecocks of Jacksonville State University, and it was a thriller. Second half, Colonel's down five. Brandon Knapper trying to make it a one-possession game. He's off the mark, but Trey King's there for the board and the putback. Ensuing possession, and Kurt Lewis comes up with one of his two steals, and the redshirt freshman is off to the races and Euros to the finish. 55-50, JSU, Eastern in transition, and Wendell Green Jr. with the nifty move puts it off the window. King working down low, gives a pump fake, and then goes up and under. Colonel's down one. TK notches another double-double, logging 16 points and 10 rebounds. Next time down the floor, King with a sling to the wing to Kurt Lewis. Buckets, EKU up two. Knotted up at 60, Green working off the screen, an icy win with the stop and go on the lane and some love from the pain to reclaim the lead. Closing seconds, JSU just trying to hang out a little longer, and a shooter's bounce will make it happen, and the fans get five free minutes of basketball. Jacksonville stayed up four in the extra frame, and from the corner, Lewis suggests that JSU has overstayed their welcome. Wendell Green agrees as he knifes the lane and goes high off the backboard to give the Colonels the lead. Trailing by three, JSU hoping for five more minutes. Front iron no good. Tariq Balligan is there to cover up the rebound as time expires. And that's all she wrote as Eastern Kentucky claims their 500th victory at Alumni Coliseum 69-66. Trey King wasn't the only colonel to log a double-digit point total. Brandon Knapper finished with an even dozen. Kurt Lewis tallied 13 and Wendell Green had 15. EKU will look to make it six in a row tomorrow when they welcome in the Golden Eagles of Tennessee Tech. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.